back into spell disc here. We had a great run last time and we discovered that there's outfits. So I'm really excited to jump back in here and check out more outfits uh, with their various traits and we'll try something new hopefully. Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> there's so many things I could say about that, but I'm afraid that it might be taken the wrong way. <laughs> All right, so we did level four as well. So we're upgrading to level five. The gate is unlocked. Does that mean the gate after the last boss? That's sick. Okay, let's let's try something new here. So basic outfit we've been doing forever. Rogue outfit, decrease enemy gem drop, but each hit on enemy has a chance of dropping a gem. I kind of like that. So if we take things that do small damage and then we just hit them a bunch of times with small damage. Maybe we'll get even more gems that way. Let's try it out. Let's be the rogue. What's the rogue hat all about? Assassin's mask, increase critical chance, but enemies can deal critical damage. I, I like the look, but I actually don't think that is going to work well for me just because I want to do less damage in, in a way just so that I can get more gems theoretically, but I might be wrong about how that works. Increased damage against enemies that are far away, but damage is decreased if you're close to them. Convert all your spell damage into fire affliction. Ugh. What the heck is this? Frost hair stick. When a weapon attack hits enemy with cold status, you gain... When attack hits enemy with cold status, you gain attack speed, but remove their cold status. I might go with that. That sounds kind of cool. On obtaining gems, spawn a gem slime. A hostile slime can be spawned with a small chance. What's a gem slime do? I'm hoping to get a bunch of gems, so let's... Maybe that could work for us. I'm, I'm kind of into the, the slime thing. Increase attack speed, but decrease attack size. Okay, that actually sounds like a good synergy because we want to attack really fast, right? And get a whole bunch of gems while attacking faster. Actually, I guess in the end, it will do the same damage even if it's elongated. I, I, I like the look as well though, so I, I, I can't argue with that. I am going to go as the cat-eared rogue outfit, the cat rogue. We're going cat rogue, how do I confirm? Cat rogue? A cat rogue would use... <laughs> Alright, take the scythe. I don't like the scythe, but we're taking the scythe. Let's keep going down some upgrade trees too. I don't care about the spell being upgraded. More gems sounds like a good thing. Obtain more gem from boss. Love it. Do we want more health? I think it might be a good idea to get more health since we're going down a more difficult path. Health potion effect? Health potion? Oh, the ones that drop. I was gonna say, do I have an active health potion? All right, so what spell do I got? I got that right now. I'd rather take this, I think. Oh, okay. 25 damage versus 15 damage. I want the smaller damage. Uh, I'm gonna do auto weapon spell. So I just discovered we have this in this game. So. Our spell will recover more slowly, however, it will shoot once we have it ready. I personally like this better because I always forget to, to cast my weapon spell. And also, if we have it off, I, I also don't like casting weapon spells that much because it stops you in your tracks. Even for that split second, I, I, I tend to really always get hit whenever I, I do that. So, I'm gonna do auto weapon spell. We're going in as the cat rogue with the scythe. Let's go. Difficulty level five. How you doing? Oh, we're getting gems for real. Oh, dang. I think it's worth. I think it's worth everybody. Oh, I hate this charge attack. I also hate the normal attacks. Please hit him. Oh, it's so sad. Right, we, we go like this for a while. I do want to use the charge attack, but it's it's just so unpredictable. 
not unpredictable, but it's it's hard to target. Because you have to basically run into the enemies or have them run into you. How you doing? Alright, cool. Alright, we did it! 500 gems on the first round here. That's quite a bit. I know that we have more starting uh, gems, so it's hard to tell. Oh, this this is going to give us mana for Blunt. Can I see that again, please? When hitting target with Blunt type, our charge attack is considered Blunt. So I, I'm probably going to take that. Spark Ray, I'm not super interested in. I want things that hit multiple times right now. You can dash without stamina, but have... A delay between dashes. What? <laughs> I'm not sure if I, I'm into that. Let's buy some more stuff. And see what we're going to sell. So we also have the Boreal Obelisk, which is create five obelisks around caster. Don't love it. When self-dash. Okay, that's it. So we discovered last time if it's bait, if it has a description of just a normal dash, there's spells that count as a dash, but this one means like your character. The only one that I think I want to take is this blunt hit disc and then everything else I don't really care for. Padded shoes sounds kind of interesting, but I'm not sure if I'm actually interested in it. Health loss removes all disc overheat. Nah, I don't want to rely on getting hit. So we're doing a big reroll here. For each damage dealt to full health target. Not really interested in that. Boom bolt, drop exploding bolt around caster. Eh. Conducted lightning, shoot circle of lightning that travels toward caster's gazing direction. I, I think I like that. Faster overheat reduction of discs. I will take that. Blunt and slash type are considered the same. Do I have any slash? I don't have any slash, but I think it's a good idea to take that because we will have a blunt disc. So we can take some slash stuff too. I'm going to reroll everything else. The blizzard orb. Shoot ice orb that sprinkles. So this does blunt damage and it shoots a lot. And another blunt type disc. I think we have a good thing going for us. Blunt, continuous, pierce. Okay. Um, I think I'm fine with that. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we're kind of blunt-pilled. It's kind of weird not jumping around like we were with the cat suit. The jumping around with the bunny suit. Sorry, not the cat suit. The bunny suit is what I meant to say there. The bunny suit... I don't think I'm ever going to find a better outfit than that bunny suit, honestly. I, I loved it so much. Let's pick up an artifact. What you be. Critical chance is rolled twice for favorable outcome. Nah. Whoa. Become immune to traps. I don't really find myself falling into traps. Gain one damage, percent damage on obtaining a gem, but diminishing over time. <sighs> I feel like that will harm our gem generation. Last combo attack deals massive area damage at the cost of all equipped mana, discarded mana. No thanks. I'm wasting all my freaking rerolls here. I don't want to crit. Every five seconds increase different elemental damage. Last reroll. I can't believe I've done this. Adds 10 ice damage to attack. Ugh. Does that count? Does this count as attack? Yes, it does. The ice artifact is definitely the best one for what I'm going for, but I still don't love it. Holy moly matrimony. See ya. So many things going on already. I think I'm way stronger than the first time that I used the scythe, which is good. Cool, cool. Oh, good luck. Oh my god! Barely dodged out of that one. Yes, jump into my scythe stuff. This is an interesting choice for the scythe charge attack. I I would expect it to just be like a huge crescent attack. 
but maybe the other weapons are too similar in terms of a charge attack already that they didn't want to make it too similar to another weapon, which is understandable. Lol. Nice. If I can find an artifact that helps me charge the attack faster, I'll be really, really happy with that. Replenish dash stamina on enemy kill. That is a great item. I can't even believe it's only one star, but it's not something for us. I'm into the charge gem for sure. It's the best one out of all of them. And then we need another disc. Something good? I can't reroll? Oh! For each lightning damage dealt. Love it. Um, I don't think it can charge itself, so I'm going to switch this around. And I have two lightning things happening. Actually, I might switch this over. Just because... Wait, no, I'll switch... This over? Oh wait, they're all lightning. Okay, never mind, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, I want to have as many lightning spells as I can in the other discs, but they're all lightning already. We're getting... I was gonna say we're getting pretty lucky with the disc choices, but also I just used like eight rerolls in one level, so maybe I'm not. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? Peace out. Nope. No, you don't. Give me that posh. Oh, I am stepping into traps. Oh, there's another one. So we need money for our next slot here. That's all we need. Get out of here. Ooh, ooh, uh -oh. Holy moly. Yeah, we're crushing it. I, I don't even know how we're so strong. <laughs> we are really, really crushing it. Right, we just wanted to do this. So we're good for the next one. Got a couple more here. I'm excited to see what this gate or whatever is that, that's open. Maybe it just opens to endless mode or maybe it's just one more like a uh, section of the dungeon, which I'm happy for either. I'm just super excited. Peace out. Man, I am so freaking strong. Um, I can't really do too much with just 200. Let me keep moving. Because we can't buy a disc and a spell at the same time. You know what I should have done? An artifact. Whoops. That would have, would have added value, hopefully, right away. Depends on what drops, I guess. Oh, paralyzed. Get out of here, bro. See ya. Yeah, we're just dropping scythe bombs everywhere. Peace out. Holy moly. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna pick up a disc and a spell now that we can afford it. Alright, we got an elemental disc. When target with element affliction dies, not the best disc because it relies on enemies dying. Create four pillars around target. Sure, I'll leave it exactly the way it is. Mm, actually, which one has less mana? 80 mana versus 80 mana. Doesn't matter. I was going to say, if one has less mana than the other, maybe I'll put the less mana one on my uh, weapon slot, but since it's the same, it doesn't matter. Ugh. The fire pillar attack actually is pretty crap. Short range doesn't hit multiple times like I want it to. Yeah, I don't like that spell. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Please die. Oh my god! I gotta watch out for this tree, guys. 
they're definitely hurting me the most. We got each explosion damage dealt. We do have an explosion, but it's from the spell that I don't like. The slow fire square is good. Last combo attack applies fire, ice, and lightning elemental types. I'm not using the last attack. That's these things. Not using it too often, so I don't like it. Wait, why are those things dropping? Why are void things dropping? Oh, it's from the lightning thing. Cool. I'm going to take the fire square and we're going to switch out this guy. What do we got? We got enough for an artifact, which is great. Ugh, one of these. Continuous and slash type are considered the same. And then slash type is considered blunt type. We're going to have to take it because I can't reroll. It's not really optimal. What you got, buddy? We got when spell type is finished. Mm, might be better than element death disc, which only triggered off eight times. How much are you worth? 125. It's 165. We have sword spin, which is definitely a good <laughs> spell as well. Ooh. All right, hold up, hold up. We sell. We sell. How much we got? 282. I need a disc. I really want the sword spin. Oh god, I'm conflicted. How much are both? It's like 300 and like 30, I think. Okay, what's my worst spell here? Conducted lightning. Oh, I'm gonna sell it. I don't know if that was the right choice. We're gonna buy both of those. We take the square, we put this in here. Hopefully this thing will actually fire off a lot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that. I want the swords because that provides a lot of hits. And because it's slash is considered blunt as well because of our one artifact. Oh my God. Where are these swords at? There they are. Get oh, we are a Beyblade. Oh my God. I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy. Holy crap. That was a lot of damage per second, for sure. I'm glad I went with my choices. So we are waiting for 700 for the next slot here. Peace out, A-Town. Nice. Oh! If I just walk around and hit people with the swords, it's going to start summoning everything else. Look at this. I'm not even attacking anymore. I am just walking around <laughs> with my swords. This is unbelievable. Um, I have enough for this. And can I buy an artifact? Yes, we can. What you got? Elemental affliction also applies to nearby enemies. I will take it for now. It's a four star item. It's, it seems fine. Holy crap. Some enemies need a, a little extra push before they die, so I'll do that, but... Oh man, this blob thing! But otherwise, I'm pretty comfortable just walking around with the sword. Oh ho ho! Did you disappear? Thank you. Give me another spell. What is this, lightning ball? Spark jab, place lightning zone that zaps target six times. Let's try it out instead of the, this fire circle. Or fire square. Jeez, I never learned my basic shapes. Get things started like that. Swords, please. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god. It's so good. <laughs> More swords. More swords! This is ridiculously good. See you later, bud. Meow! 
All right, so we got continuous disc over here. So we have one continuous type right here, but we also have continuous type and slash type are considered the same, and we have a lot of slash type. So we're gonna pick that up probably. Lightning comb is pretty cool. While charging attack, you gain shield, right? We're definitely taking this thing and we're gonna drop a whole bunch of lightning instead of the square. And we're just saving up for our next slot again. So sick. Drop some of the scythe stuff. Oh, the lightning spots. You see this? Oh my God. That's what I love about this game. You can, you can go super god mode. If you got the right things going, you can, you can be so invincible, it's crazy. What can I say? I, I just like being overpowered in a roguelike game, okay? This is so easy. This is like... In Binding of Isaac, if you get Tech X plus a whole bunch of like strength up, and then you also have uh, telepathy, you're basically invincible. You just like charge up your thing, you walk into a room, and you just like blast it and just kills everything in one shot. Th that's how I feel right now in this game. Okay, okay. Get it started. Now we just walk around. All right, don't get hit though. Who hit me for 20? That's quite a bit. No, you don't. So freaking good. All right, we got the static, sticky static, which is create six delayed electric shocks on targets. 15 shields on, on stage start. Does that stack? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want the I don't think I want disc cooling disc. I'd rather take the sticky. And then we get a disc here. Something good, hopefully. When having an unequipped items in inventory, mana gain gains increase with each item. Oh, really? I have never seen this item. It doesn't really work for us right now, but I'm sure it could in the future. We can't reroll anyway, so who cares? Lightning type and fire type are considered the same type. Not super optimal because we don't have any discs that that do that, but it will also make your fires fire spells inflict shock and vice versa. See, he's getting both uh, affliction types there from the fire square. So I, I guess it has some value, but it's not it's not that useful that particular item. Do I have another spell? I guess what I can do is like, just put it up here if I don't care about it. <laughs> you know what, The this thing I don't care about because I'm not really attacking. So I'm gonna put it in there just so that I can generate those, that mana for that disc. Oh my God, I'm trapping myself. What's up? I got like 17 swords. Look at the swords! <laughs> what do I got empty? Nothing. I'm gonna open up my next slot before I do anything crazy. 20% increased enemy defense, no problem. Oh, they are exploding. They are exploding! See you later! Dang, dude! I am surprised at how much health I'm missing, but that's probably my fault. When slash type is created, obviously that's good for us. The gem horizon is okay. When cat, when cast weapon spell, cast additional weapon spell. I think the disc is more important for us. And I think that's better than this disc for now. But eventually I will maybe use that item hold disc. Oh baby, oh baby, it's happening. We're even stronger than before. 
Oh my god. Get wrecked. Wait, he didn't die. Where's everyone else? There you go. Next floor is a shop. Hmm. Okay, I'll save my cash. I'll save my cash for the shop. What you got? Sleepy? Nope. Lightning comb again. Create chain lightning when you dash. Nope. Everything's crap. We go like this. Um, I guess I need a spell. Yeah. Actually, what, what am I doing? It doesn't matter. I, I'm sure I'm going to beat this boss, even if I'm not optimizing my uh, build to the top tier. I've never seen the lightning construct. He's dead. He's going to die without me really being there. I'm out lightning the lightning guy. Oh, wait, he's moving. Okay, he died. Never mind. Easy peasy. Barely did anything there. Alright, what do I need? I need a spell. Zip. Phoenix? What is this? Volt Eagle. Shoot a lightning eagle. It doesn't hit too many enemies, but it's fine. Um, I could use another artifact. What do you got? On critical, you can sack critical damage with half critical chance. It's a good item, but I don't want it right now because I'm trying to farm gems. So I'm going to let it feed into this item hold disc for now. How much are these casting off? 82, 42, 55, 35, 55, and 32. So my slash disc is doing the most. That's pretty cool. I could make some decisions based on that disc performing the best so that I have like my favorite spell in there, but I don't see anything wrong with what I'm doing, so I'm just going to keep it the same. Yes, come closer to me. It's good for you. See you later, bud. The elite enemies actually survive kind of long. <laughs> In comparison to the normal enemies without the yellow health bar. There's so many enemies here. Oh, it's a timed room, that's why. So they were just going to keep spawning until the time runs out. I get it, I get it. Okay, so what do we need? We need an artifact and an artifact. Drop two. Oh, another crit thing. All it, Oh no, it's not. All attack type is considered as last combo. Don't really need that. We'll once again let it feed into our disc. When fire status is triggered, enemies are stunned. Holy crap. Let me see that. I don't think I've really had a stun build before. Oops. I also don't know if they're lasting long enough to trigger that stun. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I can use another artifact. I would need to sell one to do that, so I'm not going to do it. They have elemental status resistance. Doesn't look like it to me. I'll stand right here. Look at you. See you later. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's this? When target with lightning affliction dies. Oh, I don't really like that. That leaves from target to target four times. I kind of do like that. Pierce type and continuous type are the same. Do I have a lot of pierce? I don't have a lot of pierce. I guess the lightning chain is the best thing that we got here. And I would rather do that than the fire square, most likely. Okay, sure. Uh, what else do we need? We need another artifact. And this is completely charging attack provides 25 mana to all discs. Would have been good if we were actually attacking. 
with the scythe still, but we're not because it's easier to just rely on our spells at this point. Gives you more mobility. And honestly, I think I'm killing things faster if I just run into them with my Beyblade swords. <laughs> oh my god. Explosion type and Pierce type are the same. Not gonna help us. Ice Jaw Trap. Place three cold traps. It doesn't sound that great. When hitting with Explosion type, we don't have any Explosion types. All of these are pretty useless. I will take the scroll and stick it up here once again. It's 600 bucks for an artifact. My god, it's getting expensive. What is this, a dice? Gain ability to reroll items with 5% of health instead. Oh my god. I can even stick that in here until I need it. And we're finally generating some overheat with our disc. So it's time with our uh, item hold disc. So I think it's time to kind of chill out on holding items, perhaps. Wait, it's not overheating. Now it's overheating. Yeah, there's no point making it faster if it's like completely overheating, but it's, it's not completely overheating. Let's just keep going. Yo, sup? Holy mackerel. It's going nuts. Oops, I got hit there. What are you doing? Here's another timed room, so let's try to kill as much as we can. Give me money! I'm greedy, I need money! How you doing? Nice armor. GG. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, we're, we're making tons of cash. Hit him. Get this guy. Nice. Oh, dash right into his flame. All right, how much money did we get? Enough for the next slot, at least. So all of these I did not want to use, right? Yeah, I guess so. I have this fire square that I can use, but I can't afford a disc right now, so let's just keep going. What do we got, a boss? No, it's just a normal one. Whoa! Okay, they, they're starting to attack me with boss-like attacks. I've only seen that big slash across the screen from the final boss, so that's interesting that we are seeing some from enemies now. Uh, let's get a disc. Lightning type, good. When target with lightning affliction dies, crap. Again, I don't really like those discs because it relies on something dying. I guess I can buy another one. What is this? While not being close to a target, yeah, that's that's even worse. <laughs> because I got my swords going, I, I want to be close to enemies. Oh my goodness. What is hurting me? You know what? That fire square is not performing too badly. Let's, let's see that. Let's see. So this is 32 versus 29. It's doing better than the, over, the uh, item hold disc. It's doing pretty well. 32. Everything's floating around that 30-ish number. I think it's actually performing in the top half. I am surprised by that. Oh my goodness. I'm just always shocked when I get hit because I... I can't really tell what's hitting me most of the time. Most of the things happening on the screen are my own things. So I assume that I'm dodging everything. Alright. Oops. What do we got? We got Iceberg Drop. Drop a huge chunk of ice on target. 
I'm guessing that's not multi-hit. When passing through target with dash, that's not really happening. Cold type and lightning type are considered the same. That's good to me because if we can inflict more lightning, then that's good. And also we have this lightning damage disc. So that's actually a good item for us. And we do have a bunch of cold, not a bunch, but we have one cold um, attack, I guess. Um, next up, we have a shop. I think we should re-roll re some of these items and go for maybe an expansion shot slot as well. So I really don't like the crit stuff. Not trying to crit. I don't really care for this attack thing. I'm not charging. I'm not using explosion. Um, blood dice is something that we can use right now, actually. Uh, so we want more discs. So we want to replace this item hold disc at this point. When target with fire affliction dies, maybe? Oh wait, I want the last slot too. Oh, don't forget about this crappy isolate disc. So we have 13 hundo. Let's go for this. We don't have a lot of money for the shop, but maybe we don't need it. It's a normal fireball. Let's go for a relic as well, or an artifact. Last combo attack deals massive area damage. Nope. So we're gonna reroll. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance here. Sweet, we took some damage. 30% increase elemental damage, maybe. Spark ray, nah, don't really like it. Definitely don't want explosion type. We're rerolling them all again. When cold status is triggered, enemies are stunned. Ooh, I don't think it's happening a lot. Create quick icy explosion on target. For each damage dealt with blunt type, we obviously want that. I think I'm gonna reroll one more time. Continuous and blunt type are the same. We got some looping here because we got like continuous is slash, slash is blunt, and then blunt will now be continuous. Like we got a full circle going on here. And then we got some ice stuff. You know what? I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take it. That's sick. Let's get out of here. If I find something really good in the shop, I can sell the blood dice, I guess. Oh my god. We have another disc based on blunt. Oh my god. I... Oh, we forgot to replace this guy. Do I need my dice thing, actually? This is also a really good item, too. 16 hails, that's amazing. Um, oh god, I think I want the blunt creation disc, but I don't know what happens on danger level 5 because they said the gates are open. So if I want to keep re-rolling, I want to keep this blood dice. So I'm just going to keep it safe and keep it just in case there's more gameplay. And uh, let's see what the last boss can do. She can't do anything. Oh, she can evade. Where is she? Is that her? Oh, she's doing damage. All right, all right, all right. Let's chill, let's chill. I'm just gonna focus on dodging her and just slashing her like this. Good. She did more damage than I thought she would. I'll say that much. But yeah, she really didn't stand a chance. I say this every single game, but I think this is the strongest we've ever been. Let's buy another disc because this is not doing anything. Whoopsie. What are you? For each spell damage dealt, my god, it couldn't be any more perfect. <laughs> it's such a general disc, but that makes it good because it will cast a lot. Um, I guess I could create an artifact just in case we go into another phase. Dying enemies have 50% to ex explode, dealing damage, 20% of its damage, health as damage. Alright, fine. We'll use that instead of the dice disc for now, and we'll just switch to the dice every time we want to reroll, if there is a chance to reroll. Alright, is a gate open? Let's see. This is exciting. <gasps> the concierge is not here. Open the gate, or you can finish, I'm assuming. Ascend. Yeah, I, I'm going to the gate. Let's do it. 
Open the gate. Open the gate. Let's do it. Oh, baby. Let's go. What? Please wait for future updates. No! I got so excited. Why would they even include it in the danger level thing? Oh, I got so excited for more. Oh, that is a bummer, dude. That is a bummer. Well, I mean, I guess we will just have to wait until the next update. There's so many games we're playing that are like that. There's this game with like an extra map that needs to be unlocked. Magicraft is the same, which we recently played. I guess all games would add more levels and maps if they have a major update, but hey, that is level five danger, danger level five, I should say, in spell disc, most powerful build yet. We got super lucky with some of those those options, and also the outfit was amazing. The the cat rogue, kind of like a, a cat woman type of deal going on there. I really really enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully you guys did too. Leave a like if you did, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Would really really appreciate it. We'll be back with more spell discs soon, so check in again, and yeah, see you again soon.